Well, I'm Chris and this is my automotive four pin relay and five pin relay explained video. In this video, I'm going to give you a real good understanding when you use this one and when you use this one. The four pin is going to be on this side no matter what, five pin on this side no matter what. So the four pin relay has a wiring diagram on the top and the five pin relay does too. So what's the point? What's the difference? A relay is a relay, right? So first of all, I have an automotive relay explain video. Go watch that video first before this one so that you understand the four pin relay and what it's all about. So the four pin relay is used 99.9% .9 of the time in all car projects, big or small, new or old, it doesn't matter. We can go ahead and call this a single pole, single throw or an on and off switch. Single pole, single throw. You want to call this a single pole, double throw switch but it's actually not because there's no off position. Think of your signal lights in your car. That's a single pole double throw switch with off in the middle. Okay, so I do not call this a single pole double throw switch because there is no off. You are either sending power straight from 30 to 87A, straight power. And then when you energize the electromagnet, it's switching. So you are either sending power to 87A or you are sending power to 87. If I'm gonna call this anything, I call it the high beam, low beam relay. So when the relay is off, 30 sends power to 87A. And when you turn the relay on, energizing the electromagnet, pulling the switch close, if you look close, you'll see it switch it to 87. So when the switch is on or energized, 30 goes to 87. So either or relay, high beam, low beam relay, whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and throw single pole double throw in there because that can help when you're trying to learn this for the first time. So this one is confusing when you're first getting into this, but we rarely use this. We mainly use this only for high beam, low beam, some kind of auxiliary power hookups, but usually you never ever use this one whenever you're doing normal style projects. So for some reason on YouTube, a lot of people are showing you to use this one whenever you don't need it. To put it in perspective, it's kind of like you want a short sleeve shirt. You go to the store, they don't have any. So you buy a long sleeve shirt and you cut the sleeves off. It's still gonna work, but it costs a little bit extra and it was kind of pointless to do that in the first place. Okay, so we're gonna do a high beam, low beam wiring diagram so you can understand how that one works. And then we'll do individual diagrams to show you how to wire up this one in case you need it to be wired like that one. It's the same thing, it's gonna work out fine. You didn't mess up, it's just this one, you didn't need it and it costs a little bit of extra money. So let's wire the four pin up. It's super simple. It has a wiring diagram right there. So 85 is usually to ground or chassis. 86 is a switched 12 volt source. It can be a little toggle switch. It can be from wherever you want. 86 is just 12 volts off the hot side of the battery through a switch or whatever. So then 30 is connected straight to the battery or bus bar or junction box somewhere on your vehicle going straight back to the battery with the fuse, usually 10 or 12 gauge heavy duty wires. Okay, so the 87 will be connected to the fans, fog lights, amplifiers, whatever you're gonna hook up. Okay, so then when we turn our toggle switch on the dash on, it's gonna go through 86, it's gonna energize the little electromagnet and it's gonna pull the switch closed right here and then it's gonna connect 30 to 87 to turn on our fans. That's how you wire the four pin relay. It's just a single pole, single throw on and off switch is activated with the external remote source. That's all it is. Okay, so you see 87A is in the center. This is gonna help you wire it up a lot easier and understand it. So the same thing, heavy duty thick wires straight off the battery with a fuse. So 85 is ground to the same. 86 is ran to your high beam switch, whether it's on a signal light lever, a button on the floor, that's all that is a switch that's gonna energize 86. So whenever the relay is off, not energized, power is going straight from the battery, straight to 87A. So then you turn your high beam switch on, goes to 86, energizes the electromagnet, and then it closes this switch. And now you're sending power straight to 87 to your high beams. So power is either going to 87A off and then when you turn it on, power goes to 87. No matter how you look at it, power is either going here or it's going there. It does not turn off ever. Either here or it's there, relay off, relay on. That's why I'm saying I don't understand why so many people try to use this relay when they absolutely don't need it. They're looking for an on and off switch, 
but they buy the five pin when they only needed a four pin. So this is where we're wiring a five pin like a four pin, single pole, single throw. So you need your five pin to act as a single pole, single throw. It's super easy, but when you're first getting into this, I get it, it can be confusing, let's do it. So the same thing from a battery or junction source, 10 or 12 gauge wire with the fuse straight to 30. Same thing like the other one, 85 is ran to ground. You got 12 volt hot through a switch, however you wanna run the switch to 86. So we have not energized the electromagnet. We have not turned this relay on. Power on a five pin is going from 30 straight to 87A. We haven't done anything to it. That's what it's gonna do. It's gonna send power right there. We got straight power to 87A. If we touch it with a test light, it's gonna light up. So then what they do is they just run the other wire to 87. So then they turn the switch on, runs power through the electromagnet, pulling the switch over here to 87. Now it turns on your fan. Then you turn your fan or lights off and it sends it back over here to 87A. And there you go with your little hot terminal. So that's why I do not like running a five pin when you don't need it. It's so pointless. I don't understand why so many people do it and they continue to do it and they'll do it to the end of time. I'm going to be doing a high beam, low beam wiring it from scratch. In that case, you use these two relays. That's why on cars, they got a four pin and a five pin for the headlights. I'm also going to be doing wiring fog lights on the Jeep. In that case, we use a four pin. And I'm also going to be doing a video wiring this auxiliary fuse block on the Jeep in the most professional style way possible. You use these when you wire light bars, amplifiers, fog lights, whatever you want. That's why you put this on here so you don't have a bunch of wires dangling off the battery cable. Well, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.